Hello and welcome to Acrylic Codes channel. Today I have another beginner's tutorial on how to create this animation. Let's start from the beginning. Here I have an empty project and I have split the screen as usual. I'll select top viewer up here and on the left screen I'll right click to unselect backdrop tops. The first thing I always do is create an out top and turn the flag on. Next thing is I'll create three of the same circle, afterwards I'll create a merge operator and attach all the circles to it. Next I will select all three circles, press P to open the parameter window and set the divisions to 100. Select the arc type to open arc. I will change the radius of the second circle to 0.95 and the third one to 0.9, so that they all fit inside the previous one. Now I'll attach a transform in here, which I'm later going to use to animate the movements. And next I'll attach the transform to a null. This null doesn't affect the image and is only used as a checkpoint of the network. It's going to be useful for my next step when I instance the boxes. So let's first create a box. Attach this to a null and then the null to a geometry. And while holding down the shift, attach a camera and lights at the same time. Then I'll go to render and create a render top, which I'll use to render the sops to tops. Next, I'll go to the geo and create a bunch of squares to connect to the null. To do this, I'll go to instance turn the instancing on and drag and drop the null from down here to the translate operator here. Set the translate x to p0, translate y to p1 and translate z to p2. So what's happening right now is we're using the points of the circle to draw a bunch of squares. To visualize this, I'll connect this render to the out here. And now we can see here our squares. They look huge and ugly, so I'll just go back to the box and reduce the size until I see here three circles made out of tiny boxes. For the next step, I want to create some particles around my shape. To do this, let's create here a sphere sop. For the particles, I want to use the points of the sphere in a random way. So, so I'll attach here a sort and send the point sort to random. Then let's attach a particle. This one enables us to create particles out of the SOP. To create just a little turbulence in the particles, I'll go to force. And in the third parameter of the turbulence, I'll write the Python expression abs time that seconds times 0.01. Now let's attach a texture. This is necessary for the render later. Next, let's, let's attach the texture to a null. And the null to a geometry. I want to change the colors later, so let's attach a lookup right here. I'll connect the lookup to the out top and the render to the first output of the lookup. In the second output, in the second input right here, I'll create a ramp. The ramp top allows me to interactively create vertical, horizontal, radial and circular ramps. Using the ramp bar and the color picker, I can add as many color tabs to the ramp as I like. Next, I'll select the camera, click on the arrow down here. And now I can move the position of the camera in this little window here into more of a side angle. I'll go back here and create a feedback after the render. The feedback creates a fake motion blur on the moving shape. I will attach a transform to the feedback. This allows, allows me to move the shapes and I'll also attach a level. The level helps me adjust the brightness of the feedback loop. Next, I will attach a composite and connect it to the render. 
I need the composite to activate the feedback. Now let's go to ramp, change the operator to add and drag and drop it to the feedback. Now we see the particles moving like this and it looks very messy. So to fix it, let's go to level, click on the post processing and change the opacity to 0 0.95. Let's go to transform and change the value of the translate here to minus 0.009. Now it looks like the circles are moving up in space. Let's go back to the ramp and play around with the colors. Now let's animate the camera and also this transform down here to achieve the effect we saw in the beginning of the video. So press tab to open the window, attach an LFO and change the frequency to 0 0.1. Let's create a math here to change the range of the LFO from minus, minus 1 to 80. And lastly, attach this to a null. Now we have this data, which is oscillating between 0 and 80. And I will, will use this for both the camera and the transform. Go to the null up here, click the point in the lower right corner to make it viewer active. Drag it and hover it on top of the camera up until the camera is selected. And drop it on the rotate X and select chop reference. Now we lose our animation, so let's go ahead and create here a null and have the camera look at the null by drag and dropping it here. Now the shape is still rotating, but we don't lose it from the view. Here I will use the same channel to control this transform. I want the uniform scale here to move from 0 to 1. So I'll drag and drop this null to the uniform scale and select chop reference. Let's divide the whole expression by 80 so the range stays between 0 and 1. And that was it for this animation. I hope you liked it. Write down any question you may have in the comments and please subscribe to the channel for more tutorials. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye!